Carol Vorderman and welcome to Wednesday's Perfect 10. 10 questions, 10 points, all done in 10 minutes. Yes, it's my weekday quiz designed to tune up your mind, but also to educate, entertain and irritate the life out of you. Just 10 minutes every day. Well, it's the equivalent of a good gym session for your mind. So make sure you subscribe, you follow and you like to get the next episode as soon as it drops. And don't forget, if you've missed any of these episodes or you're joining us for the first time this week, welcome, by the way, why not go back through our previous episodes and see if there's a perfect 10 waiting for you there. First things first, yesterday I left you with an anagram. Which city is an anagram of Bun Lid? And the answer is, of course, if you haven't been, you have to go, by the way, Dublin. Oh, what a wonderful city. Now, no points for that. That was just for fun. But now let's play for real. Can you get that perfect 10 score today? Let's find out. Here are your questions on today's Perfect 10. Question one is your starter for a Perfect 10. And I'm asking you about flags. Which of these flags is the odd one out? The flag of France, the flag of the Netherlands the Russian flag or the German flag? Hopefully this will get your point on the board straight away. Question two is our hearsay round. So which phrase is hidden in these sounds? Ladies and gentlemen, what is your opinion of one head? And what is your opinion of two heads? Pretty clear. Hearsay, say what you hear and you can't go far wrong. Answers, as always, after my final question today. Question three is carol lateral thinking, and a bit of maths is on the menu. Three varieties of apples are mixed randomly in a box. What is the number of apples you must take out to be sure of having at least two apples of the same variety? You can do this. I can hear your brain whirring away already. Question four is worth another point to those of you with powers of recall which are firing on all cylinders today because it's our memory game. We're in for a slightly unseasonal run of weather over the next week. Two fronts moving down from the north, bringing a blast of cold air that may possibly bring hail to the northeast of Scotland and maybe even a little snow on the Cairngorms. But that's going to be replaced by an even lower band of pressure coming in from the Atlantic, which will bring heavy rain to the west of Ireland on Wednesday. But don't despair. By the weekend, that will all be forced out by some rather lovely warmer air that will finally be emerging from the southwest. This will bring a bright weekend for most of the southwest from Friday and reach the rest of the country by Sunday. Sun hats on! Well, I hope you were listening there. Because here comes your question about that weather report. When will rain reach the west coast of Ireland? Well, as I always say, we at Perfect 10 HQ are not real weather experts. Come to us for riddles, puzzles, daily dose of brain training, but don't come to us for an accurate weather forecast. We just make those up. We've actually no idea what's happening with the (laughs) weather, but it's good for an extra point. Don't forget to follow us on social media by searching for at Perfect 10 Carol and head on over to our website, perfect10.uk to find all the details of everything in our newsletter. Right, questions five, six, and seven are all part of the frivolous, familiar, and fun three Fs collection. Here's question five. What is the national flower of Scotland? Hello to all our Scottish perfect tenors out there. An easy point for you today, that's for sure. Moving on to question six, and it's one of the biggest TV shows of the past 12 months. Here it is. Which member of the Adams family got their own spin-off TV show in 2022? I think you'll get that one, especially today. Question seven now. If you were doing hospital corners, what would you be doing? Is that perfect 10 score in touching distance for you? For question eight, one in, one out, you need to swap and spell. Which letter can you change in the word canon? C-A-N-N-O-N to make a grand geographical feature. You can cogitate. 
And you can ruminate on that one. But do remember, you can hit pause and think about it for as long as you like. It isn't cheating. We'll be here when you get back. Okay, ready for your next question? Question nine is, I know I know this. With a little thinking time, you should get yourself a point here. A polygraph is the technical term for what kind of test? And today's brain workout is almost at an end. One last push. Here's question 10. Of course, it's our daily riddle. How can a man shave 25 times a day and yet still have a full, thick beard? Remember, it's a riddle. And there you have it. 10 questions. All you need now is 10 answers. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss tomorrow's episode. And if you're looking for even more questions that will entertain, educate and irritate you, follow us on Facebook, Instagram and TikTok by searching for at Perfect10Carol. We have loads of exclusive content and exclusive bonus questions over on our socials. So why not join the Perfect 10 mailing list to get regular updates, behind the scenes clips and much, much more. All the details on our website, perfect10.uk. Well, those were your questions. Let's get you some answers. Here they come. Question one, I started with this. Which of these flags is the odd one out? The flag of France, the flag of the Netherlands, the Russian flag or the German flag? And the answer is the flag of Germany, as it is coloured black, red and gold. The other three are all red, white, and blue. Question two was hearsay. I asked you which phrase was hidden in these sounds. Ladies and gentlemen, what is your opinion of one head? (laughs) Say what you hear, hearsay. And the phrase I was looking for was two heads are better than one. The answers to these are so obvious when you know them, but I know that they're irritating everybody, including me sometimes. Right, let's move on to the answer to question three. Three varieties of apples are mixed randomly in a box. What is the number of apples you must take out to be sure of having at least two apples of the same variety? And the answer is four apples. You might get lucky on your second pick. However, to guarantee a pair, you need to pick four apples. Well done if you got that right. Question four was our Wednesday weather memory question. And I asked, when will rain reach the west coast of Ireland? Did you remember the answer was Wednesday? According to us, that is, not actual qualified real life weather experts, just us. Question five, we're into the three Fs. What is the national flower of Scotland? And the answer is the thistle. The prickly purple thistle has been Scotland's national emblem for centuries. In truth, no one really knows for certain how the purple flowered thistle rose to such significance. But one legend claims that a sleeping party of Scottish warriors was saved from ambush by an invading Norse army when one of the enemies trod on the spiky plant. His anguished cry roused the slumbering warriors who duly vanquished the invader and adopted the thistle as their national symbol. My story. Don't know if it's true. Of course, there's not a shred of evidence to support this account, but I like it. Question six, which member of the Adams family got their own spin-off TV series in 2022? The answer is Wednesday. Yes, Wednesday Adams is the title character in Tim Burton's latest series for Netflix. Question seven, if you were doing hospital corners, what would you be doing? Well, you'd be making the bed. Folding the top sheet with a three-step process known as hospital corners results in a very neat, very snug and tidy fit. But here's the thing, the technique isn't actually used in hospitals as much as it used to be because this technique leaves the sheet tight against the feet, which contributes to problems over time, one of which is a condition called foot drop, can you believe Question eight, and it's the answer to this week's one in, one out. Which letter can you change in the word canon to make a grand geographical feature? Well, if you change the second letter N for a letter Y, you get the word canyon, C-A-N-Y-O-N. 
Question nine now, a polygraph is the technical term for what kind of test? Well, I hope you didn't cheat because I know if you're lying, the answer is a lie detector test. The polygraph machine is rather unusual in that it wasn't exactly created by one person. The cardiologist Sir James Mackenzie created one of the first polygraph tests in 1906. This was later enhanced and further developed by other people, including police officer John Larson and psychologist William Moulton Marston, who gave us the polygraph we still use to this day. How accurate the results are, however, is still open to debate. And finally, question 10. How can a man shave 25 times a day and yet still have a full thick beard? The answer is he is a barber, of course. He shaves other people. So how did you do? Did you score a perfect 10? If so, let us know. Remember to subscribe to the podcast if you haven't already and follow us on YouTube and across our social media channels so you don't miss out on any of our episodes or any of our daily bonus questions. Come and join us here in the Perfect 10 family. But now, I just have time for today's anagram. Which American actor can be found in the words Monk's Hat? M-O-N-K-S, Monk's Hat, H-A-T. Find out tomorrow when I've got a whole new day of questions, riddles and puzzles. I'm Carol Vorderman. That was my perfect 10. I hope you have a perfect day. Thank you.